Hello lovelies! Welcome to English with Lingomatic. My name is Merve and if you are ready, let's learn English. In this video, I'm going to teach you 35 smart sentences for daily use in English conversation. These phrases are going to help you a lot when you want to talk to someone, maybe you want to start a conversation, or maybe you want to leave a conversation politely. Okay, first, let's begin with the moment when we meet someone we know or maybe we don't know. What are some phrases we can use? So the first one is, it's nice to bump into you again. It's nice to bump into you. Again, maybe you can add, maybe you can remove. To bump into means to meet someone by chance. You didn't expect to meet that person, but you meet them, let's say in the street, by chance, okay? So you see your friend and you say, oh, it's so nice to bump into you again. If I say again, probably I met this person sometime before. This is maybe the second time, okay? Let's see our second phrase. It's great to finally meet you in person. It's great to finally meet you in person. In person, this is a phrase, it's very important. As you know, I'm sure you are familiar, online meetings, Zoom meetings became a big part of our life. So now when we meet someone, it can be online or maybe in person, okay? So it means you see them face to face. This person is there, you see in your face, in front of your face. So we can say, it's great to finally meet you in person. If you say this to someone, probably you saw this person online or maybe you heard about this person and now it's your first time that you see this person. She's there or he's there. Okay, another phrase, it's great to catch up with you. It's great to catch up with you. To catch up with is a phrasal verb, all right? It means to hear the news, what's going on with another person's life. You can use this phrase, catch up with. It means probably you talked and you get the news from your friends or from this person and you say, it's great to catch up with you. Imagine you were talking about someone and that person just entered the room. You can say, speak of the devil, speak of the devil. We were just talking about you and you came, you are the devil in the sentence. We can say, speak of the devil, you are here. But here, of course, it's a positive meaning. It's not something bad. So you can use this phrase when you are talking about someone and that person just came, you can say, speak of the devil. Hey, speak of the devil. How we doing? Oh, not all of them though. Speak of the devil, right on time. One is three and the other's about little butter's age, I think. Well, speak of the devil. All right. Next one is, I've heard so much about you. I've heard so much about you. Let's say you have a friend and your friend talks about his girlfriend all the time. And finally you meet this girlfriend and you can say, I've heard so much about you. And the person can say, all good things i hope because maybe we heard some negative things but hopefully not the person can say all good things i hope or all positive i hope because yeah it can be also negative but we never say hopefully it's all positive all right next one is i'm sorry i don't think we've met before i'm Merve. okay let's imagine you are at a party or you are in a business meeting but like Everyone is meeting each other, lots of people, they don't know each other maybe. And you can go and say, I'm sorry, I don't think we've met before. My name is Merve or I'm Merve. This is very nice and direct way of meeting someone, but I think it's proper. But of course, if you are somewhere like, it's normal to go and say this sentence. Maybe if you are in a bar and you just go and you say, yeah, it might be weird because of course, we haven't met before, but you will know the moment to use this phrase. Similar to this phrase, we have another one. I don't think we've crossed paths before. Cross path means to meet someone by chance, again, like to bump into someone. So you are saying, okay, 
I don't think we've met before. I don't think we've crossed paths before. This is another great way of saying if you want to start a conversation or if you want to know someone. All right, now we have a lot of phrases to use with someone we know or we don't know. Now we will catch up with someone. Maybe someone you know, maybe a friend, and we want to catch up with them. Catch up with them means like you want to get news, what's going on in their life. So the first phrase we can use, how is everything going? How is everything going? Very nice to open conversation and you let the other one lead the conversation. Like you let him talk first. This is very nice. Instead of you start to talk about your own life, let them talk first, right? How is everything going? Another one can be, how have you been since we last spoke? How have you been since we last spoke? This is also very nice from the last moment you spoke to this person until now, what's going on? Tell me all. Another phrase, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? To be up to something means like to be doing something. This is very nice to catch up with that person what have you been up to? Like, what are you doing these days? What keeps you busy? And this person will probably tell you about the details that he is doing in these days. Another phrase, how is everything on your end? On your end, this is a very nice phrase. It's like from your side, how is everything? Of course, it could be on my end, on his end. You can change the subject here. Another phrase, what have I missed? Fill me in. What have I missed? Here, to miss means like you didn't hear, you don't know. So what have I missed? What I don't know. Tell me all. Fill me in. Give me all the updates. Another one. We've got so much to catch up on. We've got so much to catch up on. To catch up on, another phrasal verb. It means to learn about the recent events about the person. Catch up on. All right. Another phrase. There's so much to say, but I can't go into it now. Like, I want to tell you a lot of things, but maybe I don't have time at that moment. Or maybe there are some other people. I don't want them to hear what I say. So this is very nice to use when you're not comfortable or maybe you don't want to go into a topic. To go into means like to talk details. You know, probably you need more time or maybe you need more space, maybe alone. All right, we met lovely people and probably we want to get to know them better. Like we want to know details about these people. So there are some ways you can start conversation. For example, you can ask, how did you get into teaching? All right. For example, you can change the teaching word with what they do. What's their job? For example, how did you get into banking? Maybe this is a banker or whatever they are doing. You can ask like that. How did you get into this field? How did you start? If you ask this question, probably the person will tell you how they started to work, why, why they choose this department and all the details. So this is a great way to get to know someone. Another question is, what fuels your passion? Feel here, you know, feel we use in our car to drive, right? So here, what fuels you? What gives you energy for your passion? For example, what fuels your passion for teaching? You can ask me, what motivates you? Another great question is, what do you do for fun? Of course, we don't always talk about jobs. It's very nice to know someone, someone's hobbies, what they do for fun. Similarly, we can say, what do you do outside of work? Like when you don't work, what do you do? Again, we are asking about their hobbies. All right, what makes you tick is another amazing question. What makes you tick? Like, what makes you go? What makes you get excited and work? This is, again, great way to know someone better. What makes the other person excited? Another question can be, what's your driving force each day? Like, what's your driving force? This means, like, again, what motivates you to do what you are doing every day? What's your driving force? Another amazing question I love so much. What gets you 
out of bed in the morning like what is the reason you feel motivation to get up maybe it's your children maybe it's your business maybe your work whatever it is it gets you out of bed every morning hopefully so this is a very nice question also and finally in this group what floats your boat you know the boat floats on the water so there is an energy and all the system that floats the boat right so it's a very nice way of asking what floats your boat like again what motivates you to do what you are doing all right we love this person we love talking to this person we want to create further contact with this person right so there are some phrases we can use for example i'd love to carry this on at another time probably maybe you need to leave the place maybe you have less time carry on is a phrasal verb and it means to go on all right so you are saying i will be so happy if we continue this conversation at another time another phrase can be i'd really enjoy picking up this conversation another time again we are leaving but it's very polite to say like i enjoyed this conversation a lot let's continue pick up again like we take it from where we left and we go on all right another amazing phrase to make that person feel so happy i think i feel like we've got so much more to talk about you know sometimes when you know someone you just talk maybe five minutes but you feel like you have so much to talk about you feel so close to this person yes this is an amazing way you can use for these cases all right another phrase we should discuss this over lunch you are inviting this person for lunch maybe it's for dinner you can change the word we should discuss this over lunch over means like okay let's have a lunch and let's talk about this another phrase this has been a great talk we should continue it soon this was great we should do it again we should continue it soon or you can simply say we should do this again right it was so nice so we should do this again another phrase it would be great to dive deeper into this topic at another time to dive deeper it means like to talk all the details about this topic now i need to go but we will dive deeper into this topic Final phrase in this group, it can be drop me a line and we'll discuss it further. A line here is like a message maybe or an email. So you can say drop me a line, send me a message, text me and we'll discuss it further. Now it's time to leave the conversation. All right, now we are going. So you can say I'm a bit pressed for time. Pressed means here like I don't have so much time. I'm running, I'm rushing. So I'm a bit pressed for time or right. I need to make a move. This is another way. Like you are summarizing, you're finishing everything. Okay, right. I need to make a move. Make a move is like to leave. Another phrase, I'm afraid I have to scoot, but it's been lovely chatting. Scoot here, it means like to go, to leave. Scooter, it comes from here actually, scoot, to go, to leave quickly. So I am afraid I have to scoot, but it's been lovely chatting. This is also very polite, very lovely to leave the conversation. Okay, another phrase, I'd love to stay and chat, but I'm afraid I have another commitment. Commitment is like a task to do. Maybe you have another meeting, maybe you have somewhere you need to go commitment can be used for this meaning another phrase i need to get going or i'm gonna get going or i'm gonna have to get going of course you can use both of them it gives the same meaning get going means like to leave i need to go right now okay the final one is very polite i've already taken so much of your time this is extremely polite and nice i think because you're saying the other person, I know your time means a lot and I've taken so much of your time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, but I should go. So this is very, very nice and very polite. So I want to finish this video by saying I've taken so much of your time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so grateful that you're learning English with me. Thank you so much. I've taken so much of your time. If you found this video helpful, please, 
subscribe to my channel and give me a like. Take care for now. See you next week with another amazing lesson. Take care. Bye.